Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. I am your fave nurse B. Today I'm gonna to be doing another nurse entrepreneur video. I am with Anisha from Reflections by Zaina. She creates beautiful accessories for everyone, but also she creates items for healthcare workers like badge rails, stethoscopes, charms for your stethoscopes, all that jazz. So go check out her website and her IG. I'll have everything linked down below. Leave any questions that you have for her down below as well. Today, we're going to be talking about how nurse entrepreneurship is really a calculated risk. She goes more into detail about how she balances being a mother and an entrepreneur and also still working bedside as an OB nurse and why she believes that nurses still should work bedside while working on their side hustle or their business. So if you're interested, please continue to watch. Make sure you comment down below, like, comment, and subscribe, and go watch the other videos in this series. As always, thank you so much for watching. Nurses make or break relationships in the hospital with our physicians, with their stay. You know, if your nurse was terrible, you remember that she was terrible. If she was great, remember that she was great. So we, we know how to create experiences already. Um, and that's not necessarily something to run from, you know, to run away from. Take that with you. Okay, I hear you. So, but don't just don't cast out all that education. You know, a lot of folks are ready to abandon it, um, thinking that you know they just need to make you need to make like three times your salary just mm -hmm. to be able, you know, consistently just to be able to really say that you can walk away and be okay with mm -hmm. all the extra costs because the cost of running a business, you know, the hospital has that cost. We don't have it, and so you don't know. Until you start running a business, how much it costs to run a business? Because it costs. Absolutely. Absolutely. In so the time. The time. The time. It pays yeah. too. Money and time. Money and time. All right. So if you are a nurse and you're thinking about, oh, I need to leave bedside and go out on my own, or you want, you have a side hustle and you need support, you need to, you feel like nobody else in your circle is doing what you're doing. Anisha is starting a Facebook group. It's going to be, you said, a business incubator for creatives. That yeah, are for nurses. Healthcare creatives, yep. Yes. And you can have that resource to help you because some, I ain't going to lie, it's hard starting off because it's yeah. a lot of work and moving parts. And if you don't have anybody that's doing it, you feel like I might not be able to do this. Mm -hmm. I know for me, like, because I have two small children and the way my husband's shifts is, is like, I have to be home with them and this and the third. And I'm just like, is anybody else doing this? Like, I don't <laughs> know if it's possible for me to be able to do it. Cause you don't always, like you said, see that representation. Mm -hmm. so, you want, um, you want it. It's a passion. And we are very passionate people typically, you know, as nurses, it's a passion that you want to follow through. You don't want to leave the holes, but the running, the moving parts of running a business is something we are not, we don't, it's done for us. You onboard at the hospital, your uh, orientation is done for you. There's a professional in front of you that is telling you what, what your expectations are, telling you what you, how they want you to treat their customers. You have a mentor already assigned right. to you. You have somebody that's going to take you through the ropes. So we don't have that same type of system for nurse creatives that really don't right. necessarily want to start a business in nursing per se, but they have a gift that they want to share and they want to make money doing it. So that's kind of where the incubator comes in. It's, it's for those creative folks who need to learn that business side, that e-commerce side and kind of laying that foundation and what to bring over from the best side so that you can coexist in transition. It's okay. Be okay with coexisting while you're building. Because a lot of folks who are successful won't stress that point because they want you to be focused on the end result, which is them quitting their job or them not having to go back to an employer. There's a, you know, as a, especially in, in healthcare in this country, there's really nothing wrong with being okay with that and having it be a means to an end and taking what you can from the situation and, and helping build your business with it. Right. It's, it's okay. And at some point, you're going to be offering like one-on-one -on -one coaching too, right? Yes, yes, yes. Our goal is to incubate and then to take small cohorts and get them going with like land foundation, what they want to do, where how they want to do it, and then the money involved and kind of what's really involved in getting going because you just, you can jump in and a lot of us, I jump in and that's kind of, I'm built to jump in. I just get in there and figure it out. But if I had somebody that, 
could stress the importance of email marketing from day one. If somebody who can stress the importance of running ads and the, and the importance of taking great photography, the importance of good photography, the importance of timely emails, the importance of, you know, being very attentive uh, and respectful, no matter how crazy somebody gets into your email box with, with questions, <laughs> re, re, remaining poised and not flying off because you're not at work. Um, right. <laughs> And come over with they they it's okay there's a reason that you know people come back there's a reason that people come will will come back just to you and customer service is at the center of that and okay. you can wholly control how your business grows by how you treat people from day one period we have a, a hack for that as nurses because we're taught to already kind of roll that into how we treat people and you know you should want to treat people well <laughs> especially when you're in front of their face and you're teaching them and you're being an advocate for them you want to treat you want to make sure that that experience is, is a good experience with them for you so that's what you want to take to your business i want everybody that buys from me to want to come back because i answer emails timely because my shipping was timely because my packaging was together and that's stuff that we don't learn at the best side you're not going to take you're not going to have that somebody to tell you yes this is important this is very important to grow your business oh She's so cute. So if it's okay in that in that realm for you to work extra to have things, I'm working extra because I want the freedom on the back end to be able to build. That's it. I want to have the cushion so that I can build my business. And if I need to take off of work, I'm okay doing that. And so that's, that's calculated risk for you. You know, it's a it's passion driven when you're talking about creative ideas and, and things that are not already, you know, there's no hierarchy there to help you. You know, it, it is a calculated risk. You can do it and do it and do it. And be like, okay, this isn't working. I need to do something else. And that's okay too. There's so many folks that start out in labor delivery, they get there and they see all that's involved with wow. having two patients, you know, mom and baby when they're when she's pregnant and having to to there's so much to do and it can be very intense in moments and you have to move quickly. You have some folks that come through and they're like, you know what? This is not for me. I think I'm going to try mother baby. I think I'm going to try Anna part of, I can't do all of this. It's too crazy down here. Y'all crazy. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> and that's okay. Like you recognize the need to pivot and in business, sometimes you recognize the need to pivot as well or to abandon it all together and do something else. But you got to know, you don't want to spend all your money and not know. And so that's what incubating does it helps you find clarity we don't close one second they today has just they didn't want they didn't want to do nothing that schedule with the computer nothing, but you it. know what that's how life does you <laughs> <laughs> that's how life does you when you really want it they're like do you really want it because i'm about to knock your computer out because i'm about to, about to right. kill it I'm Build the internet for you for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna wake your kids up. So they right. gonna run out. do you really want this? <laughs> well, I appreciate you. You know what I've learned working with more nurses? Nurses are so understanding <laughs> and flexible. Yeah. Nurses are understanding and flexible. You have to partner up with each other. Like we gotta do it. It just has to yes. happen. Yes, 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 yes. You know, nurses don't have a lot of celebrity. Like our, our draw to each other is just our profession is not necessarily a celebrity type of draw. So a lot of us don't really realize that we can help each other. You know what I mean? Everybody's just, just in their own lane. You said people are in their own lane. I said, it's, I said, we don't realize our benefit to each other. You know what I mean? We don't kind of realize the ways we can utilize what one person is doing for somebody else's business. Because it's kind of like this whole celebrity draw if you don't have some big name or if you don't have, you know, if you're not in a lane that can draw mass attention, then it's not worth it. But it's the opposite. Like we're almost like a little sorority. Like we yeah. really, you know, we can, we have a lot of a talent, a lot of talent and we just don't get together. Like we don't see each other in that way. You know what I mean? Like, well, we see know. each other that way. <laughs> <laughs> most certainly, <laughs> most certainly, most certainly. Absolutely. So, the takeaway is take that calculated risk. Yeah. You have to have the passion for it, yeah. and don't just run away from your job. 
try to find and, and I mean mentally as well. Don't run away mentally because you're, you know, oh. you are a patient advocate at the end of the day. You can be there, but like be present, be there. Mm. And you can afford to not be. <laughs> right. You don't know what I mean? Nurses, like, I got my own business. Like, I don't care. Whatever they do is what they do. Right. I don't care. You have it. Absolutely. Or my husband makes enough money where I really don't have to be here, but I don't want my license to lapse. So I'm coming to work and I'm going to do the minimum. Mm. You want to be present. You know, you, you're you in this profession for that. You know, we, we speak for those who cannot. And that that's a, that is an oath. When you take, when you pass that NCLEX, you take that, you take those responsibilities to be first responder. You take, you know, that responsibility to help and aid, you know, when you can. On, on a plane, it doesn't matter. We, we have a, a commitment that extends outside of just the best side. And so, you want to be present while you're at work. Please. I think that's awesome. I think that's, yes. that's I like that you said that. Because a lot of people that they they ain't there. They there, but they, they checked not there. Out a ago. <laughs> yeah. They checked yeah. out a few years ago. Yeah. And they, they're not even nurse entrepreneurs. They're just there. No, they just they're just done. <laughs> You all leave any questions you have for Anisha in the comment section. Make sure you go check out her IG and her Etsy shop. Like, get on it. Please get on it. Look at this. Yes. Look at this. Yes. this Look at that. Yes. So, so I just liked all those things there. Yes. yes. And I love that it says RN because I'm on an LPN to so RN awesome. journal. Awesome. So I awesome. appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. <laughs> you, you you bring it into fruition for me. Okay. Get it done. That's okay. There's a so lot of bridge. So thank you so much for doing this interview. Uh, I appreciate working with you. Like I said, if you all have questions, put them in the comment section. Go follow her IG. She's always posting, always working. And she does items for sororities too. Mm -hmm. Right. I do. We are Delta and Zeta uh, vendors. Official so you, you got something for everybody. So go check it out. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for reaching yeah, out. Seriously, I really enjoyed this. Really enjoyed this interview.